This is a 2017 Buick LaCrosse Premium. And today, I'm gonna take it for a little test drive. I feel like a lot of times, especially recently, we get caught up in different features that we kind of look down the list and kind of see on paper what all these cars have to offer. And don't get me wrong, I'm a big fan of tech, I'm a big fan of innovation and all of that, but not at the expense of the actual driving experience. What is it like to actually drive these cars? And with something like this Buick LaCrosse, it definitely excels in that area. There's a lot of cool features that this car has to offer, but in true Buick fashion, I think this is gonna prove to be quite an excellent ride. Let's go. First thing, super noticeable. Not necessarily driving experience, but definitely overall vehicle experience. This guy right here, there's a little foam slot. Don't have to take up one of my cup holder spots. Very nice touch. So right when we get in here and start the car up, go to shift it into gear and you'll notice this nice instruction manual here for our electronic gear shift. Take it off, but hold down this button right here, foot on the brake, down for drive, up for neutral, up and to the left for reverse. Before we get going, I am going to pop this guy open, plug in my USB cable, feed it out this little groove right here, and plug in my phone so that while I'm driving, I can utilize this Apple CarPlay. Oh, gotta unlock my phone. Tap my home button, booyah. Already got a text message. Buckle up for safety, kids. Plus, it's the law. Here we go. All right, so this vehicle is equipped with what Buick calls stop-start technology. It's fairly self-explanatory. You're driving the car and you come to a stoplight or you're in heavy traffic and the car comes to a complete stop. They've developed a fuel efficiency technology to where the engine actually shuts off and then as soon as you take your foot off the brake, it starts back up again, seamlessly drive away. Most of the time you're not even gonna notice that it happened. In this vehicle, since the cabin is so quiet, I was anticipating the start-stop to be working as I was pulling off the lot. As I was listening, I could barely even tell if the engine was on, but then I noticed up here, we have a little auto stop reader at the very bottom of your tachometer. It's right there. Engine just shut off. I'm at a, sitting at a stoplight here. I have time to show you real quick. Right there. Wasn't in focus, but. So I missed it there a little bit, but as soon as you take your foot off the brake, engine starts back up. If it wasn't for this little auto stop spot on your tachometer, you really would barely notice. This car obviously is super smooth just driving down the road, but as I turned off into a neighborhood here, the handling when you're turning and taking sharp corners. Okay, so there we go again. Got the auto stop to work. Now it's pretty obvious because I'm in a quiet neighborhood, but wait for this car to pass me by. Foot off the brake. Heard it start back up. Take my nice smooth corner here. Lovely. While I'm pointed at our dash here, I am a very big fan of the digital speedometer, just because it's really nice just being able to quick look down, have a reading. It's pretty convenient. You see the heads up display? Nothing new, but still equipped on this lacrosse. While we're driving, we have a couple nice 
Oh, there it just shut off. You saw that green car that was up there? That is signaling that the car senses there's another vehicle in front of me. It's green, that means I'm following at a safe distance, and it will change colors as I start following too close. Not gonna do that and upset the driver in front of me. Another little feedback feature we have here on the dash as well as that heads up display. Oh, just went away. Right there it is, our uh, lane keep assist. So it shuts off as I'm kind of going through intersections and the lines in the road stop. But basically there's a camera, um, there we see both of our meters. There's a camera on the windshield that is watching the lines on the road and as I drift towards it, there you can see it turned that orange color. I turn my blinker on and actually change lanes. Oh, telling me I was following a little too close. Sorry there, uh, Grand Prix. But since I had the blinker on, it knew not to get mad at me for crossing over the line. This car is also equipped with rear cross traffic alerts. This isn't gonna be a perfect example of this, but as I'm in reverse here, and I come up close to this Encore right there, so you can see I have a visual warning on the screen. Had a little tactile warning vibrating seat under my bum. You can also set it to give you an audible alert instead of the uh, physical one. It also works the same way when something's crossing behind you when you have a vehicle in reverse. All right, back on the lot now. Man, this is a nice vehicle. Super comfortable ride as I was sitting in there for better part of an hour. Wanted to come outside of it really quick though and show off these rims. Probably not doing a whole lot for the uh, physical driving experience, but you're sure a sec gonna look good. This is a dang nice car.